Hello, I'm Dr. Leah Austin, President and CEO of the National Black Child Development Institute. In May, the U.S. Department of Education released this year's report on the state of school diversity in the country. It also marked the 69th anniversary of Brown v. Board of Education. Since the landmark Supreme Court ruling, there's been a renaissance of conversation related to the achievement of racial equity and justice in K-12 education and child development. We've seen progress in recent years and some setbacks. For example, this year's report shows schools across the country are more racially isolated than ever. An equitable early child development system benefits all students. And in a time where classrooms have repeatedly become battlegrounds for political agendas, it is more important than ever that we create an environment where children, especially Black children, know that their unique traits are welcomed and celebrated. That is exactly why we must expand the K-12 racial equity conversation to include early childhood development. And we must learn from models that are doing this work effectively. Join Dr. Phil Fisher, director of the Stanford Center on Early Childhood and the Rapid EC Survey Project as he leads Dr. Carla Thompson Payton, vice president of program strategy at the W.K. Kellogg Foundation and me in conversation on how comprehensive systems change can support racial equity initiatives in early childhood. You'll also hear from incredible grassroots leaders who implement these approaches in real time to make a positive impact on Black children and families. We will also discuss opportunities that exist to carry out this work in your community. Every child deserves the opportunity to reach their full potential. Early childhood development lays the foundation for a child's success in life. Our best step forward is to transform the existing, but often inequitable, social and economic systems to reflect this reality. Thank you.